I haven't seen it used once, but the Wombo combo is back in Destiny 2 if you choose to go that route. It was a big part of Destiny 1, a massive part of the Night Stalker's toolkit, but in Destiny 2, it's there. I want you to know about it, and the cool part is that it's there at base with a specific combination. And for that combination, you don't need to do anything else. You can run Graviton, Stompies, Dragon Shadow. You can run whatever discipline number you want, whatever strength number, whatever exotic. There's nothing you have to do to your armor build at all, but there are other routes that you can go and build into it if you'd like, and building into it means you get to use other grenades. Other grenades do different things. You're also gonna be using other exotics. There's many levels to it, and again, at base, there's a guaranteed wombo combo one-shot. There's a couple grenades that are 50-50. There's a lot to go over. Also note that this can be in your back pocket, meaning you don't have to use it all the time. You don't have to search for it. It's just gonna be available when the situation comes up. It's there. So the first thing, as far as aspects, they all work but it depends on how you like running your Night Stalker. I have on Stylus Executioner, defeating weakened, suppressed, or volatile targets grants invisibility and true sight. Trapper's Ambush, now this is a movement if needed. It's the Void Shatter Dive, use it offensively or defensively. But if not Trapper's Ambush, if you don't or won't use it, go Vanishing Step. You dodge, you go invisible, and this also grants you another Fragment slot, so you get four total. As far as the Fragments, there's only one that you need, that is Echo of Undermining. Your Void Grenades weaken targets, but it's negative 20 discipline, that's okay, because the wombo combo involves the smoke and the grenade. This way, both of them weaken to set the other up. The smoke bomb at base weakens the target on detonation, and the void grenade, due to the fragment, weakens. And after that, it's gonna be up to you. If you fully build into it, there are things like pairing provision, damaging targets with grenades, grants melee energy, but you get negative 10 strength, and you pair with that, exchange. Melee final blows grant grenade energy, so they work off of each other. They pair well, but there's a stat penalty. Or you can use the fragments to make up stats, like domineering. After suppressing a target, you gain greatly increased mobility for a short duration. Your equipped weapon is reloaded from reserves. You're not really suppressing anything, but you get plus 10 discipline to make up from undermining, giving negative 20. Then instability gives plus 10 strength. Using these specifically, to get the strength and grenade up. Add base for the grenade because both of them weaken, you wanna use the magnetic grenade, the wombo stick. The animation is fastest when you throw the smoke first, then the grenade, just like in D1. Which reminds me, I'm gonna bring it up later as far as building more into it, fastball on your gauntlets is borderline must have. That's to make sure the whole thing is fast. The base smoke deals 88 damage. The impact is 40. When it explodes and goes off, it's 48 total damage after that. And the magnetic grenade with weaken does two ticks of 80 plus. So again, you can use whatever you want. The only thing necessary is the Magnetic Grenade and Echo of Undermining. Stompies, Forfeit, Omni, Oculus, anything. I have Frosties on in a lot of this gameplay, just running around getting those cooldowns back. Stick them with the smoke, stick them with the grenade. After that, the final blow is gonna make you go invisible. And I wanna reiterate one more time that this is just in your back pocket. Whatever build that you're using as Night Stalker, just throw on a magnetic grenade and know that this is there. If you decide to go further, you can put things on your armor like Grenade Kickstart. Along with Fastball, that has to be on Stasis Gloves. On Solar Gauntlets, you can do Impact Induction, so causing damage with a melee attack reduces your grenade cooldown. You can go Double Bomber on your class item. That way, when you dodge, you get grenade energy. You already have on Gambler's Dodge. That way, when you dodge next to an enemy, you get your smoke back. So at base, this is what you do. But after the Magnetic, we can get into the Vortex Grenade a little bit. Then we'll talk about another and then get into other builds that you can put together that's pretty cool. The Vortex does pull enemies in, but the ticks of damage, even with Weaken, takes a little bit. And remember, you have two things to kind of slow them down right now, because when you hit them with the smoke, it slows their movement. They can't double jump out of it. That's a prime place to throw the grenade right after it. And with the Vortex, it does vacuum them back in, but it's not as automatic as the Magnetic Grenade. The Vortex can work. Then there's the Scatter Grenade. I like this more than the Vortex, because with Scatter, they did improve it. It's doing a lot better. As long as you stick them with that smoke, and they're slowed, the Scatter Grenade puts in work. And again, a lot of the gameplay, Magnetic, Scatter, Vortex, whatever, I am running Frosties to get my cooldowns back. You don't have to do that, it's just an example. That these three grenades can work at base, because they both weaken, and you're sticking them with the smoke. Now, sometimes if the smoke isn't on them, if you don't stick them, it still can work, but the success rate of it goes down a little bit. At this point, the best is Magnetic, then Scatter, then Vortex, but to make pretty much anything work and do it fast, you would pair Kepri's Sting. Kepri's opens up all the grenades. And there's one more exotic to talk about at the end of the video, but with Kepri's, it's no joke for the Wombo combo. Punching someone with full melee energy will instantly cast a Smoke Bomb. You gain True Sight while in your own Smoke Bomb effect. Important thing, your Smoke Bomb deals increased damage. So with the Kepri's Bomb, the entire base Smoke Bomb is 88 damage. It now goes to 60 on impact, so four damage numbers of 15. 
and then when the smoke bomb detonates, it deals 73. A total of 133 damage, 45 more goes a long way. That's the new Bastion Overshield. Things like the Vortex, the Scatter, that makes them do two to three less ticks. It's more instant. And Kepri's does allow you to use different grenades. They're all great. And if you've noticed, I haven't talked about Suppressor, Void Wall, or Void Spike. That's because those are inconsistent. You can try them. They will melt if they get on someone, but they're very inconsistent. But with Kepri's, it opens up the Axion Bolt. And the bolts can't do this without Kepri's. To low, low resilience, it could technically, but it's not going to all the time. What's cool about the Axion Kepri's is that once you stick them, it deals the most smoke damage it could ever do. It slows them down, and the Axion Bolt is thrown right after it will follow. They have a tough time getting away because the smoke slowed them. Same deal, stick with the smoke. As long as you do that, it's pretty much gold. It's gonna seek them out and take them out. The weakened Axion does a little over 100 damage. You're gonna go invisible after and go to town. And if you go with Kepri's, you might as well build into them, build into the grenade, build into the melee. And the issue here for a lot of people is that it will eat up other stats massively. All the other stats are going to take a hit, so these can be a little bit higher. You can even out the cooldowns to make it where they're pretty close, like the Scatter or Magnetic at tier 10 is 47 seconds. Tier 8 Strength is 45 seconds. You just extrapolate that down. Maybe your Discipline 6, your Melee is 5. That way they're close. Or you can go with Axion, make 9 Discipline, 9 Strength. That way they have a matching 41 second cooldown. There's no right way, there's no wrong way. It's how far you want to build into it. The Axion's good, but it does make the Scatter a ton better. The bigger smoke damage goes a long way. Way. It makes it where the scatter pretty much can't miss. It gets in there and almost gets the insta kill. It's really good with groups. There's a new clip now, and I'll bring up the clip from the very beginning. It's great. And with Kepri's, there's still things like Trapper's Ambush, the Void Shatter Dive. When you throw that grenade on the ground after you do your ambush, True Sight's going to be on the screen. If not, you can still throw the smoke at your feet at any time. Give yourself True Sight. It still has that utility. Kepri's is great with this. This is the second way. It makes all the Wombo combinations significantly better. It's amazing but this might be a little bit much for a lot of people, a lot of players. So the last one, it's what I'm call incorporating in the Bombo combo, the Bombardiers. The Bombardiers suppress targets with the bomb. You can do things like Trapper in, Dodge out. Say someone's rushing you, you dodge. And if you run the Bombardiers, I do suggest just throwing on Vanishing Stuff, that way when you dodge, you go invisible. You jump up in the air, they're hurt with the bomb, you throw a grenade right after. It's just more ways to wombo combo. It adds a third element to the kit. Whether you suppress them with the bomb, smoke, grenade, it's pretty much gonna lock them down in that area. Because after they're suppressed, they can't double jump. After they're smoked, they're really slowed. And that's why you usually don't lead with the grenade. You would always go smoke first or the bombardiers first. And it doesn't switch anything up really, it's just tied to your dodge. A lot of players have high mobility on the hunter anyway, and you're just using that bomb as a combo. And that's why I started with the very basic base way to do it. Just throw on a magnetic with undermining. The wombo is there without changing anything else. And the smoke and magnetic grenade tracking is crazy. It's just crazy. You get a lot of help with those. I figure with all the void going on, this might as well be talked about. Destiny 1's wombo combo was probably the most deadly overall because it was instant. Smoke grenade down, period. With this, there's a little wiggle room for the enemy to get away, for you to miss. And like I said, in a lot of the cases, you do want to stick them with a smoke bomb for the most damage, and it's gonna slow them in the position. That way you can follow up with the grenade. But if it's a little next to them, it can work. So if anything, throw on the magnetic with undermining and have it in your back pocket. Otherwise, I talked about a lot of ways you could go, and with those ways, upping the strength, upping the discipline, putting on kickstart, putting on bolstering, maybe on some void gloves, impact induction. Since you are getting grenade kills, you can throw on ashes to assets, so you gain bonus super energy on those grenade kills. Double bomber, tons of ways. And if you really want to make a session out of it, make your grenade and your melee as high as it can go, or you're willing to go, and run it with the frosties. And your dodge is going to be the first no matter what, so just dodge immediately to get double bomber going. Get that grenade back even faster. No right way, no wrong way. I just want you to know it's there, and it puts in work. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. Let's talk about the Wombo combo down below. I have not seen it once in any of my play sessions since the Undermining Fragment became available. And this is now part of the Hunter's Kit. Let's talk about it down below. Thank you for watching. And until the next one, I am Cool Guy.